안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. And today we are going to talk about a framework that is called Electron. And we're going to see how Electron allows us to make cross-platform desktop applications for Mac OS, Linux, and Windows using only HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Many, many companies use Electron to make cross-platform desktop applications, so it's very, very likely that you are using or have used already an application that is built using Electron. The desktop application for Slack, for example, is built using Electron. GitHub Desktop is also built using Electron plus React and TypeScript. The design tool Figma, Skype by Microsoft, the Windows and Mac OS applications for Twitch are all built using Electron. The Facebook Messenger desktop application is also built using Electron. And the desktop application for Discord is also an Electron app. As you can see, very big names in very big companies are choosing Electron to make their desktop application. But nothing is more mind-blowing, in my opinion, than knowing that the most used developer tool is also built using Electron. And that tool is Visual Studio Code. Many people don't know this, but Visual Studio Code is built using Electron and TypeScript. So, how does Electron actually work? Electron uses Node.js to talk to the operative system of the user, and it uses Chromium to render the user interface that the user will be interacting with. When an Electron application starts, Node.js will talk to the operative system to start a Chromium process and create a browser window. It's here in the browser window where our HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is going to run. Chromium is an open source web browser that is the core, is the engine of things like Google Chrome, Brave Browser, Microsoft Edge, and even Neighborwell. So basically, when we start an Electron application, what we are starting is like a Google Chrome window, a browser window, but without the navigation bar. But also, because Electron uses Node.js to talk to the operative system, we are able to make our browser window feel like a desktop application. We can create our own menu bar, or we can add keyboard shortcuts to our application. We can access the file system and the disk of the user in a way that a website is not able to. We can use notifications, we can show progress bars, we can even take screenshots, we can hide the application in the status bar, we can run it in the background, among many other things. So now let's take a look and see how easy it is to create our own cross-platform desktop application using Electron. Now before you create your desktop application, you have to have a web application. You have to have the HTML, the CSS, and the JavaScript. The web application that I'm going to turn into a desktop application is this one right here. This is the app that we build in the free JavaScript course that we have in our website. That course is a free eight hour course made up of 60 videos that is going to teach you the basics of JavaScript and will show you how to build an application just like this one. You will learn how to make a login screen, a clock, a to-do list, a dynamic background, how to access geolocation, how to get weather information, among many, many other things. If you want to learn how to build this application, then please click the link below and I will see you there. The course is 100% for free forever. So let's get started turning this web app into a desktop app. Here we have the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files that make up our web application that we're going to turn into a desktop application. To get started, we're going to create a new Node.js project and we're going to install Electron. Then in our package.json, we create a start script that is going to call Electron on the main.js file. We also create the file as well. In the main.js file, we will import Electron and we're going to create a function that is going to create a new browser window and is going to load the index.html file. Then, when the application is ready, we are going to call the function and if we run npm run start, we can see our website is now running inside of a desktop application. To customize the menu bar of my application, I will create an array and there I will create two menus, one with a label of the name of my application and the second one will have a label of a pizza emoji. Then I will import menu from Electron and I will set the application menu to the custom menu that I created. And as you can see, when my application starts, we now have two menus that are both empty, but are the menus that I created. 
As you can see, it says Electron instead of Nomentum, but that will change when we build our app for publishing. Now we will add some system submenus to our first menu and some custom submenus to our pizza menu. Then when the application runs, as we will see, we now have some default system submenus and the custom submenus that we added to our pizza menu. Now we can tell Electron that when somebody clicks on the new background label, we want to run the get background function that was in our initial JavaScript files. And also when somebody clicks on the reset preferences menu, I want to clear the local storage and I want to reload the window. Now when the application starts, I will be able to use it normally. I will write my name and I will write my first to-do list of the day. But now I can go to the menu and I can request a new background. As you can see, it will work just well, or I can click on reset preferences and that is going to restart the application from zero. To build my application to make it ready to publish, I will install Electron Forge and I will run the import command. Now on my package.json, I will add some configurations like the product name for my program name and I will change the icon of my program. So when it's built, it's built using the icon that I want. The one I chose is the JavaScript logo. After this, I run npm run make and that is going to create an executable that I can run on my Mac and I can send that to my friends. If we go and look at what we get as a result, we are able to open that as an application. I can also drag and drop that application into my applications folder and I can use it now as any other application in my Mac OS. And that's it. That's all we had to do. As you can see, it's not hard at all. All we have to do is take HTML, CSS, JavaScript, write a little bit of Node.js and Electron will do its magic. We can build applications and compile them to whatever operative system we want. Electron, such an amazing and cool tool. Now you became more powerful as a JavaScript developer. You can now make desktop applications. It's crazy the amount of power that is at our fingertips if we learn JavaScript. We can make websites, we can make servers, we can make native applications for iOS and Android, we can make video games, and now we can make desktop applications for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. It's crazy the return of investment that we get if we learn JavaScript as developers. We can apply our skills in so many different areas. So if you want to learn JavaScript and you want to do it for free, please click the link below and I will see you there. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what do you think about Electron? Are you surprised at how easy it is to make desktop apps? I am. It's crazy. Also, let me know, have you built a desktop application? Do you want to build a desktop application? Do you have any idea? Let me know in the comments as well. Should we make a tutorial on Electron? Should I make a course on Electron, making something a little bit more complex? We'll see. Let me know in the comments. I'm going to be looking at them right now. Thank you as always for watching. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay free. Eat kimchi. Kamsamnida. Sananheyo. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.